So, yesterday was pretty fun. Again, I kind of really didn't care for how um, late the game started. I mean, like, because, uh, I mean, again, when they did Wild Card Weekend, they had a game at 1, then a game at 4. This, I mean, now they're doing games at 3 and then 1 at, like, almost 7. I mean, I guess it's... I guess it's not that big of a difference because the game was over, the second game was, a little bit before 10. So, in my area, I mean, it's probably a lot earlier if you're in a different part of the country. So, I guess it's not, like, too bad. It just felt weird to me. I don't know why. So, happy Monday, everybody. Hope everyone enjoyed their football weekend. I most certainly did. So... What did I learn yesterday? Um, that as good as the Texans were, um, Patrick Mahomes legitimately proved that he is a contender. This is a huge playoff win for the Chiefs. I mean, it's not, it wasn't 28 to 3 bad, it was actually 24 0. But that's still, they came back and they put a shellacking over the Texans. Holy cow. In fact, um, the, thing, the final score was like 51 to 31 or something like that. Or 51 to 38. Whatever it is, it's actually near. It's actually up there for like the most points scored in a playoff game. It has to be. They actually broke the record for most points scored in a half. That's unheard of. Like 52. Yeah, 52 is... The score going into that half was, uh, going at the end of that half was 28-24 in favor of the Chiefs. But man, you know, Patrick Mahomes scored like three touchdowns in the span of like five minutes. I mean, give the Texans some credit. It really did look like it was, I mean, I knew it was going to be a good game going in. And even though the score ended up being what it was, I was so thoroughly entertained by it because I'm like watching it uh, over at Teals and, you know, I'm just, uh, watching, you know, a good time. I was actually meeting my father there. He actually wanted to see me yesterday. So, you know, and we got together, which, you know, it was good. I got to see my father yesterday. I mean, I mean, for starters, you know, fa- I mean, he's my father. Of course, he's going to be worried about me. Any parent is going to be worried about their kids. That. And that goes without saying. But I guess it kind of does make a little sense. I mean, both my mother and my father had been... Not for not for no good reason. Don't get me wrong. I mean... Again... I just recently became an uncle to twins. And so... Both of my parents, especially my mother... You know, have been helping out my brother and my sister-in-law... You know, taking care of them because, as we all know, taking babies, taking care of babies is hard. I mean, I don't even need to be a parent to know that. Although, if I ever do become a parent, I'm definitely going to be feeling the strain myself. So, you know, they're spending a lot of time with you know taking care of the ba- with taking care of um, you know, the twins. So, you know, it was actually kind of kind of nice that uh, you know I I get a little bit of attention, I suppose. I mean. Wasn't like, I mean, again, my father and I just went to Teal's to watch the game. Actually, had some uh, dinner. It was really nice. Um, we split an order of wings and uh, we split a uh, burger. We actually had the, uh, I actually had the black and blue burger. Is what I ended up ordering. It was actually really. It was actually. Um, here's the thing. Whenever like we we go to a restaurant, like it's it specializes in stuff like burgers and stuff like that. My father will always get the tried and true. Mushroom Swiss Burger, which, you know, I've had a Mushroom Swiss Burger before. Again, tried and true, very good. You know, the, um, the like, the sort of mildness of the Swiss goes with the umami of the mushrooms. It's very nice. It, actually, it's one of the reasons, it's the main, it's one of the main reasons why that burger works. But, you know, I see, you know, black and blue, it's mushrooms and blue cheese. You know, why not? So, 
You know, it was good. It was actually really good. Although, one thing I actually... Well, here's the thing. I don't think my father would have cared if I had done this. But if, I, if we ever do it again, because, I mean, obviously we ate the wings before we went into the burger. And, you know, when you have wings, you know, you're still going to have like a pool of the, uh, you know, you know, uh, a buffalo sauce, you know, that covers the wings. I'm like, man, I could have dipped the burger into the sauce. Next time. I'll do that next time. But, uh, yeah. And their Sidewinder fries are, are awesome. Easily some of the most unique fries I've ever seen. Um, they met, like, seriously, they took the concept of a potato wedge and combined it with a curly fry, if that makes sense. That's, like, the best possible way I could describe, like, what the Sidewinder fries over teals are. So, yeah. That was, uh, that was good. You know, uh, I actually ran into, uh, an old friend at Teal's yesterday, actually, who uh, recently just got married. Um, once again, in case you're watching, congratulations. Congratulations, I mean. Um, yeah, um, he was actually my teammate way, 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 way back when I played a small fry football for Horseheads. So, yeah. Was, uh, it's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Have to run into him. Um... And yeah, all in all, it was a very fun afternoon. We got to watch the um, the Chiefs make easily one of the biggest comebacks to happen in the postseason in a good while. Again, not as significant as you know Super Bowl Fifty One, where it was twenty eight three, but still, it was pretty big. Although, with that being said, going into next week, I really don't know who's going to win the AFC Championship. I mean, I know the Chiefs are at Arrowhead. You know, they're at home. And they prove that they can make a comeback like that. But the Titans have just been spitting venom lately. Like, they're going to come into play. Like, they have something to prove. And by golly, by the time that AFC championship is over, unless somehow the Chiefs give them an absolute shellacking, by golly, whatever the Titans have some, whatever the Titans have to prove, they're gonna do it. They may very well do it. So that was fun. Now we get into the other game yesterday, and that was the Seahawks and the Packers. Uh, what did I learn? Well, by all accounts, technically it wasn't anything I didn't already learn from when my Cowboys played the Packers, which is. You do not, under any circumstances, let Aaron Rodgers and the Packers get that big of a lead on you and expect to win. I mean, yeah, the final score was 28-23, to 23, but it was like 28-3 going into the end of the half. So, yeah, the Packers definitely had Seattle's number. Real shame, though. I really was pulling for Seattle to win. Oh, well. As of right now, it looks like uh, you can no longer have the first Super Bowl of having two black quarterbacks start because, you know, the Seahawks are out. That um, That's a little bit disappointing. Oh, well. But, um, yeah, the Super Bowl picks that I have left um, they're, well, the honorable mentions are still there because the Texans versus, the Titans versus, you know, anyone from the NFC, but, um, outside of the actual top 11 picks I still have left, I'm very, oh, actually there's a few left, um, there's the Chiefs and the Niners, which would be you know, the Joe Montana Super Bowl, which, let's be honest, if that happens, you know they're going to get Joe Montana to walk out and do the uh, coin flip, probably. They'll at least let him do that. That would be pretty neat. Um, if it's the Chiefs and the Packers, it'll be a rematch of Super Bowl One. That, I think that's about it. I really think that is about it. 
in terms of what uh, what possible Super Bowl matchups that I would like to see that we still have. But if Tennessee ends up winning, it's going to blow everything completely out of the water. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really am. I mean, a part of me... I mean, it really is a little too soon for me to do any kind of NFL pick. I mean, I'm not even wearing the jersey. I am not even dressed for making that pick yet. Or either pick for either championship, for that matter. I mean... Well, anyone could have predicted it was going to be the Packers and the Niners in the Super Bowl, in the NFC Championship. That's going to be... It's going to be, you know, one versus two. More often than... I mean, that's usually the most hot likely outcome you get in these sort of playoff type scenarios. As for the AFC Championship, I like Patrick Mahomes. And I do like the Chiefs. But man, again, the Titans are just good. Like, and they were the sixth seed. By all accounts, they're still the biggest underdog in these whole playoffs. I, it's a good thing I have a little less, I mean, not a full week, but I definitely have a little bit of time to think about it because, wow, I really don't know what uh, what to say about it. I mean, whatever ends up happening, I'm sure that the masses are going to be thoroughly entertained. That's going to be, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I'm, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting far too ahead of myself. I should probably just focus on what's going on right now. And, well, it's Monday, so, you know, that. It's going to be kind of a drag if you let it be. And the fact that it's the 13th of January. I mean, let's be real here. At least it's not Friday the 13th. We'll be getting one of those in a couple months. Quite literally so. And, uh, so I guess it's not too bad. Um, hmm. I really, I really don't know. I mean, this is difficult to, do. this is difficult to figure out. Because now I just have, now I want to make my picks for the AFC and the AFC championships now. But again, it's too early to do that. Oh, well. I mean, I'm sure I'll have an answer going forward. I mean, Sunday, I mean, next Sunday isn't that far away. I'll be, I mean, I'll have to make some sort of pick eventually. So, yeah. I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to feel so incredibly lost come, like, uh, come less than two weeks from now when there's no games going on whatsoever. I mean, I guess I could do a pick for the Pro Bowl, but I don't really know if that'd be, yeah, I don't even know if even that would qualify or constitute any sort of spectacle or anything, because from what I hear, the Pro Bowl has been kind of shoddy at best from what I've been recently hearing. Oh, well. Um... Oh, by the way, if you guys think that uh, I haven't noticed, don't worry. With the XFL coming back, and I think they may be bringing the Elias American football back, I'll still be able to make some picks. So, look forward to that coming soon. And other than that, you know, everything should be a okay Again, this is a great week. I mean, honestly... I mean, 
By all accounts, I really am feeling pretty good. I mean, this is a pretty solid, this is a great weekend. I mean, I got to go to um, the first Alive After Five Me, had my first wine tasting. You know, yeah, I said I'd be more, I mean, again, one of my New Year's resolutions was to be more adventurous. And so, you know, I have a first wine tasting, so that definitely facilitates some of that, right? Um, you know, I got to see my grandma on Saturday, because I love my grandma. Um, you know, I'm taking her to church and stuff. Um, you know, all the football that was going on, you know, I got, I got to see a lot of people I haven't seen forever this whole weekend, on Friday and Sunday especially. So, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, again, it's Monday, so it's kind of dull a little bit, but it's definitely not bad. I think I'm ready to take on this week, and I hope you guys are too. Like, favorite, share, hit that subscribe button, follow me on social media platforms, turn on the on YouTube. I am very humble I made this video for all of you guys who watched the show today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Monday. Remember, we just want to talk to Chad, going to be here to London here. Always have your back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.